If you've ever launched a digital product and were so excited that it took you weeks, months to create this thing and then launched it to zero sales, I've been there before. I'm right there with you. It sucks and it hurts, but I have a solution for you. An idea so that this will never happen again to make sure that you actually have people to sell it to without being beholden completely to the algorithm shining its favor down upon you that day when you're trying to sell something. And it's called an email wait list. A wait list can be the difference between seeing zero sales and actually being able to sell your product and get it into the hands of people who want it. We are going to build a wait list inside of your email service provider using ConvertKit, which is a tool that I've used since 2016 to build my email list of buyers of my products without having to go out and hunt them down every day to make sure that I'm getting their con- my content in their faces so that they'll buy. I'm going to show you how I can do this inside of my own email service provider, which is ConvertKit. So let's go. We're going to make this fast and easy. All right. So first we start with the landing page. Now you can scroll through this huge library of all of the different pre-made designs. For our purposes, we're looking for a wait list. And good news, you can narrow it down by wait list. All right. So this is the one that I'm going to choose here because I thought it was kind of cute and fun. We can change the background photo itself using the Unsplash library that you have right from your convert kit. I'm going to search for pink flower desk because that kind of goes with my brand. We could click on that guy, change some colors around. You have a lot of different customization options, but one of the most important things is to add a mock-up so that people know what it is that they're going to be signing up for. I added a first name category, change the button color, change the text so that they know they're going to be the first to know, hitting save. Forgot to uh, name this bad boy for the wait list because I want to know who I'm sending these emails to. I'm going to copy the code. This is the URL that you're going to use to send people the wait list. And it was that simple to create. 